Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are setting up a new breeder box or external fish breeder holder thing for a new beta. Now the beta was super impulsive. I went to the local fish store a couple days ago. I was supposed to pick up just a couple of shrimp to add to my breeding project. As I was checking out at the counter, you know, they normally have the racks of bettas and jars, uh, a whole bunch of them. And this particular one caught my eye. So I'm not gonna set up another smaller tank for this particular beta. Uh, I wanna use the breeder box because it attaches to my 40 gallon and I can provide way better water quality compared to a smaller tank. So if I like dedicated a 10 gallon to it, compared to what I'm doing right now with the 40 and the little external box, that 40 and external box has way more water compared to the uh, like a dedicated 10 gallon for a beta. So that's why I love these external boxes. I've used them before in the past. I'll throw up a little clip of a female bed I used to keep in the external box. And um, yeah, man, it, it's it's a nice way to keep bedas. This setup reminds me of those high quality bed racks that you see at those high-end fish stores. Uh, I'll show you guys an example from Aquarium Co-op. But this rack right here is the same concept. But instead of having one bed like I am, they have a whole bunch of bedas and it's all attached to one sump. All right, so I'm finally done with work and we are getting ready to set up the beta tank or the beta container. There he is, look at him. All right, so I have this 3D printed mesh to prevent it from jumping out because if he jumped out, it would have been gulper food. All right, cool. I don't like using nets with betas because um, I don't want the net to mess up its fins. So that's why I use a cup. Here's the beta container. Right there. Perfect. There you go. Check it out. It's the air lift tube. It's pumping up air and it just gets pumped into this. That's kind of a, a lot of flow too. Uh, it's more flow than I like, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down. It doesn't need to be crazy. Betas actually don't even like that much flow, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this, turn this lower real quick. Chilling, man. He's chilling. All right. So surprisingly, or not surprisingly, the lighting setup was probably the hardest part. I went ahead and mounted my light clamp to my wall, which used to hold my air pump. So now it's just kind of there. And now I have a timed hanging light for now. This is just temporary. But look at him. So good. A little stressed out right now. I was messing with the tank a lot. Like, just trying to bend this arm to shape. Like, it probably hit the tank like a million times. So, it's probably tripping because of that. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up here now. Look at him. Isn't that just a super nice beta? That's a good looking beta right there, man. Look at him. Jeez Louise. Look at that. It's a nice looking better. One thing I do need to do is probably make a background or something so it's a lot easier to see the fish. Might have to do that right now. I think what it's, I think it sees this reflection. It's like trying to fight itself. Like right now. Where is he? I don't even know where he is. Oh, he's over here. But whenever, whenever he goes up, to the black parts, he starts flaring. I think he sees his reflection. Look at him flare though. That is clean. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the box and just cut this part out and slip it back there. Uh, because the box is what it came in, the dimension should be the same. Uh, so it should be a perfect fit. That is super curious right now. I'm wondering what the what is going on? There you go. Okay. Cool. Now all I gotta do is just trim this a little bit. And it's good. So what I'm doing is um, adding white so it it, it reflects the light and uh, also pictures and videos and stuff. It'll, it'll look a lot nicer. And then at the same time, it'll block out any of the um, reflections that might happen against the side of the container. Because bettas, uh, if they see the reflection, they get pissed. 
It looks kind of bad, but uh, it should do. I don't want anything super permanent because I don't want to mess up the, the appearance of the box. But this should be okay. It's just regular scotch tape. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this moss out real quick. Maybe half. I want to give it some room to swim, you know? And I'll just put it in the gopher tank. Maybe it'll grow, maybe it won't grow. I don't know. I never have luck growing uh, chava moss. Like, I've bought moss a bunch of times, right? Especially like java moss. But it's the only moss that doesn't really grow for me. Weird, huh? Okay. Uh, I think that's cool. That's cool right there. Now I'll go ahead and put this in the shrimp tank. Yeah. Look at him. It's sick. In order to build my bond with my fish, I need to give it its first hand feeding. Look at that. Nice, dude. We're friends now. Oh, tweets are shaking right now. There you go. I don't know why my tweezers were shaking, bro. Oh! Oh, get it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, I haven't been this excited uh, about picking up the fish in a while, so. Yeah, man. It's, it's been a while, bro. We haven't had a new fish in so long. Here, I'll give him another food. Another piece of food. Eat that, man. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. So sick. He's so down to eat. I don't know if it's because the fish door didn't feed him before I got my hands on him, but he's eating now. I love betas, man. I just like personable fish. I feel like betas have almost the same personalities as like cichlids. You know how they call Oscars water puppies? This is kind of like a water puppy too, because it actually comes up to you, not like my dudes over here. Not saying that my Bashirs don't have personality, they kind of do, but their personality is very lazy. Especially Pike Gulper. Uh, he has personality too, but again, it's a predator type of uh, personality. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Stay tuned for updates on this guy. We're gonna do a whole bunch of feedings, like live feedings, maybe baby shrimp, maybe ants, maybe bugs, I don't know. Maybe even cut up pieces of shrimp and tilapia. Who knows? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace, guys.